Okay, so I've got tutorials on HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP, and if you're not familiar with them, I suggest you go and have a look at them. The links to them are below this video if you're looking on YouTube, and if you're not looking on YouTube but on my website, jargonfreehelp.com, go to the Excel section and you'll see that there are uh, tutorials on HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP, and get familiar with those because we're now going to combine those together. So I've got a little matrix here. We're going to assume that these are delivery charges. I've completely made them up, so don't take them as any real values whatsoever. So if I wanted to send something from London to somewhere else in London, it would cost me £20, $20, 20 euros, whatever it is. And the same from London to New York would cost me 50 of one of those values. So up at the top here, we're going to do, say, London to New York, and then I want it to find the cost for me. So what I'm going to get it to do is here is basically a VLOOKUP. That's the table we're going to use. I want to look at London and then I want it to select the correct column here, which is the column index number, which you might remember from doing the VLOOKUP. How are we going to get it to know which column to look at? Well, we're going to use an HLOOKUP over here and it's going to look for that city and it's then going to know whether it's column two, three, four, or five. And you'll see here that you actually have that table. And don't forget that is now column two, three, four, and five within my VLOOKUP. It's not based at all on the columns at the top B, C, D, and E. Just because that's column two doesn't mean that it lines up. But you'll know that from looking at my other tutorials. So what we need to do is combine the two together. So here we go. I'm going to do the insert function and I'm first going to do my HLOOKUP. So that's in my lookup and reference section here. And I'm going to choose that and it's going to allow me now to create that. So the lookup, I'm going to get it to look at this value here. The lookup value is this one. The table array is this one here. And I want it to get the second value. OK, and what I need to do as well is because these answers need to be an exact match because they're text as opposed to, say, numbers with a range, I need to type in false here. And you can see down here the information about the range lookup. So if you leave it blank or if you type in true, it will take a range that would take the next closest one. When you're working with text like this, this doesn't really work. But if you had a range and you'll see it on my VLOOKUP, tutorial it actually explains it there. So for this it needs to be false and I click on OK. So it's now telling me that London is number two. If it was Sydney it's going to pick up this value here which is number five. But now really what we need to do is incorporate this in to a VLOOKUP. Now the VLOOKUP we're actually going to have to type this in. So if I go VLOOKUP I've got to type it in at the top here. And because of the version of Excel that I'm doing, it's actually prompting me. But in other versions, it might not. So if I go brackets, the lookup value, which is that one, is going to be 2. Put a comma in. The table array is this table here. Put a column comma in. And then it's this H lookup here that is giving me the value of the column. So I, that is already my column index number. In this case, because it says Sydney, it'll pick up number five. If I click at the end here, put a comma in, and type in false. So this is basically a nested function. OK, it's a function within a function. So if you have a look at it there, you can see there's our lookup value. There's our table, each one separated by a comma. Here's the H lookup, which is picking up these values right here from two to five and then putting in false there so press enter sydney to new york costs 120. you can see it right here sydney to new york 120. let's change that to london and you can see although it has to be an exact match um, if i chose another city you'll see it would just come up with not applicable it doesn't worry about being case sensitive so that can be handy, but you do need to type it in correctly, otherwise it doesn't work. So there you go, that's a combination of, let me just try another one. 
Then you go Paris to New York. Paris to New York is 50. And let's just do Paris to Sydney. Just so you can see it working. Paris to Sydney, 100. There you go, working perfectly. That's how you can combine an H lookup and a V lookup. You could use this for all sorts of things. So for example, it could be if you're doing sales and you've got London, and then you might have what commission is for people in London. And then for different cities, you might find that you want to have different weighting for each of those cities. So London weighting, London is an expensive city. So people in London tend to perhaps earn a little bit more. You can use it for all sorts of things, grades, you can see for delivery charges, all sorts of things like that. So whenever you kind of need a matrix like this and you're thinking about lookups, this is how you do it.